Hey folks, um, in this video tutorial we're going to go over um, a question that I was asked this week um, in regards to um, how do I combine uh, uh, within one file a PowerPoint presentation so I would have a bunch of landscape oriented slides within this one file and then I want to I want to make a portrait slide inside that presentation without you know doing anything crazy. So the answer is right now you can't. Um, if you create your presentation in landscape like this one right here, um, and you create a bunch of other slides in landscape, it will it will stay in landscape. So if I change if I go to themes, um, and this is for both Mac and Windows, so if I go to themes, I go to slides uh, size, and I go to page setup, I go to orientation slide, and I want to switch it to, I want to switch my fourth to, which is highlighted, to portrait. I would hit OK, and then you see how one, two, three, and four are now all portrait. Um, so let's go back. So uh, what about maybe in the master edit in the master slide edit master slide slide master if I click on that um, and I say uh, okay let's do the basic slide here uh, I want to just switch this one to um, portrait um, so I'll go to themes slide size page setup orientation slides click portrait hit OK and then again it switches all of them to portrait so it doesn't really work at this at, at this moment I, I don't think when uh, Microsoft has created a plugin or an add-in that that uh, lets you combine landscape slides and portrait slides within one within one one presentation but there is a workaround and then that workaround is by having um, a separate present PowerPoint presentation uh, file that you set to portrait and you put your content and uh, when you go back to your uh, original master presentation you link this file uh, slide portrait to your your presentation so let's say um, so I have uh, here slide number one landscape uh, slide number two landscape uh, slide number three landscape and slide number four I want portrait right all right so uh, we save this into portrait and we're gonna it, it's gotta be in within a text box because we're doing a, a hyperlink so we're going to highlight the text and we're going to go to slideshow. It, this is in the Mac. And we're going to go to action settings. And in Windows, it's under insert, I believe. The insert tab, action settings. Uh, we're going to go to hyperlink to drop down other PowerPoint presentation. Click on that. Uh, and here's it's in here and here's my portrait slide that I saved I'm gonna hit OK and I am gonna hit OK and there you go you see how the the uh, text that you created within this text box is now a hyperlink right so when you when you run the the, the show here I'll run the show So it started within that uh, one particular slide. So if I run my show um, and I click on portrait, boom, it links to the portrait presentation, which is outside the presentation, right? So you, so you would need to have all these within a, a folder if you're gonna if you're gonna play around with this. So yeah, that's the workaround for now. It's not very convenient because you're, it's not all within one uh, file but it works so try it out if you find another way uh, let me know um, if this worked out for you 
um, just show some appreciation. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Until they create a um, a plugin or a add-on for PowerPoint, this is it.